In a groundbreaking event for the transportation and energy sectors, Elon Musk unveiled an engine powered by water. This innovative breakthrough promises to radically alter our understanding of engines and has the potential to shift our environmental and technological standards. This water-powered engine marks a significant step toward a sustainable future. There remains a significant question, what makes this engine so unique and revolutionary? How can it transform the global technological landscape and encourage the adoption of more ecological models? Tesla's Innovative Transition Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, took the online community of X, formerly known as Twitter, by surprise. He announced a significant shift in the company's direction. By 2024, Tesla will start utilizing hydrogen energy instead of batteries. This announcement was particularly striking when he unveiled the Model H, the first vehicle to utilize hydrogen. Having previously criticized hydrogen fuel cells, Musk has since reconsidered. He attributes this change to challenges encountered in producing the 4680 battery. Amid these obstacles, Tesla is re-evaluating its strategy and considering hydrogen as an alternative. Since its establishment in 2003, Tesla has been a benchmark in electric vehicles. Under Musk's leadership, the company aims to elevate living standards through advanced technology and sustainability. Musk has positioned the company at the forefront of the renewable energy and transportation revolution. By investing in eco-friendly projects and advocating for change, Musk seeks to shift perceptions about energy and the climate. As interest in clean solutions rises, Tesla's electric vehicles have grown in popularity. The company has announced plans to adopt hydrogen fuel cells. This development raises questions about the impact of this technology on the driving experience. Traditional vehicles, which contribute to climate change, are being challenged by electric cars. With an annual production of half a million electric vehicles, Tesla is driving social acceptance of this technology. Tesla's cars rely on large batteries, similar to those in laptops, which store energy from grids or charging stations. Challenges such as lengthy charging times and high costs have limited their acceptance. Hydrogen fuel cells emerge as a solution, overcoming these issues. Advances in Hydrogen Technology Elon Musk previously expressed skepticism about hydrogen technology. However, this technology is now gaining interest in the automotive industry. But, what exactly is a hydrogen fuel cell and how does it work? A fuel cell, strategically placed in a vehicle, works alongside a battery-operated electric motor and a hydrogen tank to generate energy. Several fuel cells operate together through reverse electrolysis. In this process, hydrogen reacts with oxygen to generate electric power. Unlike traditional electric vehicle batteries, fuel cell batteries are smaller. This is because they are continuously charged by the fuel cell, ensuring a constant and adequate supply of electricity. The byproduct of this cell is water vapor, harmlessly released into the air. The quality of the hydrogen used is crucial in determining whether it contributes to climate change. Scientists believe in the future of hydrogen fuel cell technology, predicting its popularity in the coming years. Beyond environmental benefits, these vehicles offer advantages in driving experience. They are notably quiet, free from the mechanical sounds of conventional cars, providing incredibly smooth rides. Hydrogen cars even stand out among electric vehicles due to their quick refueling time. While battery electric vehicles can take hours to recharge, hydrogen vehicles are ready in minutes, with full tanks. This, coupled with the energy output from the hydrogen tank, gives these cars a longer range than electric vehicles. In 2024, the Model H will be the first to showcase this innovation, with advanced technology and impressive acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds, reaching up to 280 miles. Currently, hydrogen cars are more expensive due to their rarity and the limited availability of hydrogen stations. However, industry experts anticipate a shift in the next decade. With the urgency to address climate change, more automakers are adopting clean technologies. The Models Z and 2 are planned for 2025 and 2027, respectively, as supercars. Tesla, 
driving the change towards hydrogen fuel cells, is preparing the automotive scene for a significant transformation. Elon Musk, the head of Tesla, is no stranger to controversy, often debating the use of hydrogen as vehicle fuel. However, opinions in the sector vary, and not everyone shares his vision for the evolution of electric vehicles. There is a debate about the potential of hydrogen fuel cells against traditional batteries. Musk has a firm stance on hydrogen, formed over years. At the World Automotive News Congress, he described hydrogen fuel cells as inefficient. Musk highlighted the challenges of producing, storing, and using hydrogen in cars, emphasizing the superiority of current batteries. Despite his rigid view, the automotive industry is not monopolized by a single company. Major names like Toyota and Hyundai are investing in the development of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. In addition, smaller manufacturers like River Simple are also involved in creating hydrogen cars. Diverse Perspectives on Hydrogen The debate over the use of hydrogen is not limited to industrial production. Prominent figures, such as Herbert Dias, leader of the Volkswagen Group, also express skepticism about its use in cars. Dias argues that green hydrogen, generated by renewable energies, is better suited for sectors like steel and chemicals. He believes it's not viable for vehicles due to its high cost, low efficiency, slow speed, and logistical challenges. Elon Musk, in various instances, including tweets from 2020, criticized hydrogen fuel cells. He called them fuel cells and reinforced that they are not a sensible option. Despite these comments, Musk maintains his position on hydrogen. In response to CNBC, via Tesla, he highlighted the fundamental differences between battery electric vehicles and fuel cell vehicles. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, fuel cell vehicles have similarities with electric ones. The primary difference lies in electricity generation. While electric vehicles rely on externally charged batteries, fuel cell vehicles generate electricity internally. They combine hydrogen and oxygen, producing electric power. The automotive sector is engaged in a broad debate about the future of transportation and the role of hydrogen. The BMW Group, in June, began tests with hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. They see this as a complement to combustion engines, hybrid systems, and electric vehicles. However, these technologies are not yet leading the market. Companies like River Simple, working with hydrogen cars, offer them on a subscription basis, indicating a small share in total sales. Toyota, an advocate for hydrogen, sees its applications beyond cars. These include heating, aviation, public transport, and heavy industry. The Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Energy Association shares this view. They highlight the advantages of hydrogen, such as zero emissions, long range, quick refueling, and scalability for electric fuel cell vehicles. The Future of Clean Transportation In the quest for low or no emission transport, the focus extends beyond passenger cars. Larger transports, including trucks, buses, trains, and planes, are now part of discussions about hydrogen fuel cells. Martin Dom, leader of Daimler Trucks, suggests a balanced approach, valuing different technologies for specific situations. Battery electric vehicles excel in urban deliveries, due to their lower energy needs. On the other hand, long-distance transport may benefit from hydrogen fuel cells. Beyond cars, hydrogen fuel cells prove useful in other sectors. Alstom, a European transport giant, created the Cordia Island, the world's first passenger train powered by hydrogen. In the aviation sector, plans for commercial hydrogen electric flights aim to start in 2024. The construction industry also joined, with JCB developing a 20-ton excavator using this technology. However, the widespread adoption of these cells faces significant challenges. Honda, for example, halted production of its Clarity models due to issues like durability and cost. In the United States, infrastructural limitations are seen as a major hurdle, making broad adoption of these vehicles difficult. Hydrogen in the transportation sector faces a complex competitive landscape. Green hydrogen, extracted from renewable sources, competes not only with fossil hydrogen but also with gasoline, diesel, and electricity. 
The International Energy Agency's 2021 Global Electric Vehicles Report highlights the discrepancy between hydrogen electric vehicles and traditional ones, due to the scarcity of refueling stations. Discussions on Twitter reflect divided opinions about hydrogen. Some users point out contradictions in Tesla CEO Elon Musk's positions regarding hydrogen vehicles. There's skepticism and curiosity about what he might support next, including ammonia engines. Ammonia, a hydrogen-rich compound, garners interest due to its energy density. Ammonia engines could surpass conventional ones in range, without the harmful emissions of gasoline or diesel. Its sustainable production increases its appeal. However, the transition to ammonia faces its own challenges. Lack of refueling infrastructure, safety concerns, and the energy intensity of its production are significant obstacles. These factors cast doubt on its long-term viability. Currently, battery electric vehicles lead the low-emission transport market. But the path to success is not straightforward. The market's evolution over the next decade is uncertain. Elon Musk remains steadfast in his opposition to hydrogen engines, but the debate in the automotive sector is intense. With companies like Toyota investing in this technology, questions arise about whether Tesla will shift its strategy. So, what's your take on these changes? Comment below and don't forget to see what others are saying about it.